I think this penny stock surging over 20% this week alone is just the beginning of what appears to be a strong recovery for the company. What's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm doing a quick update to Rolls Royce Holdings and kind of talk about some recent positive news the company just come out with that has really helped the stock price, what the overall future looks like for the company in the next coming year or so, and an updated target price. So that way, if you're thinking about buying into the stock, you kind of know what the projection is from where it's at right now to where it could be in the next couple months to a year. Of course, this is not the typical Rolls Royce you would see uh, with a celebrity or a super famous athlete. This is Rolls Royce, the civil and defense airspace product company. Now, back in June, I did my last update video on Rolls Royce. And at that time, it was trading around a dollar 53 cents a share. Overall, I was very optimistic. I was very bullish about the stock moving forward. Now fast forward to this week, Rolls Royce has obviously had a nice increase of almost 20% and it's currently trading around $1.90 a share. Now obviously one reason it is trading a lot higher is Rolls Royce overall had several positive announcements that come out this past week and the week prior and the market as you would expect reacted very well to that news. The most recent news is Rolls sold off ITP Aero Unit to Bain Capital for approximately two billion US dollars. This is a huge infusion of a much needed cash for the company as it continues to recover from the travel shutdowns and really allows them to help improve their balance sheet currently and moving forward into fiscal year 2022. Also earlier in the week, the Department of Defense announced Rolls Royce as the winner to replace the iconic Air Force B-52 engines. It should be noted, this contract is worth over $2.6 billion alone. Rolls-Royce beat out major contenders like General Electric and Pratt & Whitney to win this elusive contract. This is a major win for the company, not only to improve their revenue, but also it continues to help solidify them as not only the premier uh, jet engine manufacturer for the European military in the UK, but as well as the United States. And of course, the last big news is no brainer really. As the economy continues to get better every day as far as the travel industry, more and more airlines are flying, they're adding more flights across the United States and international flights. This only allows those Trent series engines that Rolls Royce uh, manufactures and services to continue to bring in that revenue that it used to bring in before all the shutdowns happen. So of course I've covered the big news, but without doing our due diligence, we have to talk about a weakness. And Rolls-Royce weakness is obviously the civilian airline side. As with the shutdowns, it lost a lot of revenue and it really impacted a company that without those stable government contracts, this company would probably fold it up and just uh, dissolve, allowing other competitors to take over for them. So as an investor, it's important for me and everyone else to really understand what the company has uh, implemented since then to prevent a massive loss of revenue from occurring again if another travel industry shutdown happens. So I'm going to cover a few big ticket news announcements, products, or plans that the company has moving forward to really allow them to become more stable in the event of a travel industry shutdown. And overall, it, it helps us as investors to kind of see what the path moving forward is for the company. Keep in mind with any stock really uh, nowadays, unless it's a food-based stock, Innovation and creativity is a must if you're going to continue to be relevant in the economy as a business for the next 10 to 20 years with all the technology changing, with all the demands and government regulations, you have to be able to adapt and overcome and improve yourself as a company. So one of the first big things that I noticed when I started looking at Rolls Royce is their experiment or their path forward on an all electric aircraft. Just this month, Rolls-Royce announced that they successfully completed its maiden flight of their all-electric airplane dubbed the Spirit of Innovation. This is a significant announcement because the demand for emissions-free airplanes is only growing more each and every day. The second thing I like about them and that they already have going on 
is nuclear power and they have several different paths to help bring more revenue into the company with that. The first one is they are continuing to provide nuclear power to the Royal Navy's submarine fleet. I think right now the Royal Navy has approximately six submarines, so the ability to go away from aircraft and be able to provide propulsion or power to uh, a, something as a submarine or a, a naval craft, it just allows them to keep expanding as a company. The second thing they're dealing with nuclear power is they are planning on building over 16 mini power plants across the United Kingdom to help meet the United Kingdom's goal of being zero net carbon by 2050. Additionally, they are working with the United Kingdom Space Program to explore using nuclear propulsion to travel to space. This could potentially cut the travel time from planet Earth to Mars in half. We all know that the race to space has been very popular the past couple years with Virgin Galactic, with Jeff Bezos, with Elon Musk. So I don't see this program burning out or fizzling out anytime soon. So there's definitely going to be a need to get to space quicker, faster, and obviously a lot safer as far as dealing with radiation and stuff. And I think with them explored into this area, and if they get something that could really change the way we travel to space, it could really set them apart from any other uh, competitor that they have right now. So with all the positive news and announcements, what does an updated target price look like for the company? Or what does the average forecast look like for the company moving forward if you're already an investor or if you're looking to buy in and you're thinking, is now a good time to buy into this company? Analysts on sites like Seek and Alpha are projecting them to continue to improve and are generally favorable to the overall position that the company has and the stock price moving forward. Market Watch has a projected target price of around $4.94 in the next two years. Now, a key thing to keep in mind on this, I personally do not see this stock going to $8, $9 a share as it was pre-COVID, pre-shutdowns. And the biggest reason is the dilution of shares. Back in 2020, Rolls-Royce uh, had several million dollars worth of shares diluted in order to raise capital because they lost all that revenue. So with that, you kind of weaken or um, you lessen the value of the stock. So I don't think uh, 8 $9 is realistic over the next two to three years. However, I do believe with the stock's performance, the improved financials, the additional revenue, these major contracts, it is very reasonable to look at the stock and say it can easily be a 3 to $4 stock by the end of 2022 alone. Now, if you're new to investing or if you're a recurrent investor and you're looking to add a penny stock to your portfolio that has great potential, there's to me no other penny stocks to look at than this. It is a proven history of a company. It was, yes, it was trading higher. We obviously know what caused that stock price to drop. As things improve, the outlook improves for the company. You don't have the high risks or the, the volatility as you would to a lot of other penny stocks like IND or Castro Maritime, all those ones we've covered on this channel that obviously have a lot of unknowns for them. So if you're looking to get a penny stock, meaning a stock under $5, I think this is a good stock to look at and to evaluate if it fits your investment strategy or if it fits the, what you need into your portfolio. But as always, just don't invest based off my opinions. Do your own research, reach out to a financial advisor. Uh, they always provide consultation to determine if this fits into your investment strategy. Thanks for watching the channel and supporting us. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe and we'll see you on the next video. Later.